came to see me. Morning, guys. Today, we've, I'm joined with uh, Casper. Morning, Casper. Morning. 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 Morning, Marcus. There's Marco. Look, he's got his helmet. Where have you got, where have you got your helmet, Marcus? He falls down a lot. Why do you think, Joe? I can't, uh, you need a helmet when you're snowboarding. Joe is the worst in the since he, since he, he loves he, to vlog, like uh, a hyperactive school day. It's currently, uh, what's the time? Quarter to four? Quarter to four in the morning, my favourite time. Yeah. Uh, and we're here because it's Jim's, well, it's your birthday. <laughs> it is. Happy birthday, Jim. Thanks. Thanks. 14 today. Jim's turning 14. Uh, so I thought, what better way to celebrate Jim's birthday <laughs> than off to where? Chamonix. Chamonix. Chamonix on Mont Blanc. Chamonix. Oh, Chamonix. But it's got an X in it. Don't get confused. Um, and we're going uh, snowboarding and skiing. Are you skiing or snowboarding? I'm snowboarding. Yes. I, don't I don't think I'm really doing either. That's what I'm honest. talking I'm about. I'm trying to snowboard. Jim's going to be in the bar just getting absolutely bladdered. Marcus takes his snowboarding really seriously, guys. He's bought a freaking snowboard bag to the airport. We're only going for a weekend, Marcus. Nothing, isn't it? He's just got really long socks. I know. He's, got, he's bought a surfboard, but the only thing is, <laughs> this freaking wheel in the back of my head. <laughs> Bloody annoying. Anyway, we're off to the airport. See you soon. You know you're in a good Uber car when you've got one of these bad boys. It's a dinner tray on the back. Come on, Jim. To bring some snacks. I bet Marcus bought some snacks. What, what have you bought, Marcus? Do you know what that How much almond butter have you got I in that snowboard bag? Snack. Huh? I actually have a bag <laughs> what have you snacks. got? Yeah, I bet he's got. All right, okay. I bet he's got. Bags. He's got nuts. Yeah, you know I thought about it this morning. He's I got like, some of those crackers. You know when I was packing, it, I was. I he's was got like, a pack of Rivita. Um, I was thinking, mm, Marcus will take food. Should I take some snacks? And I thought, <laughs> no, it's two thirty in the morning. So <laughs> Marcus, be honest with me. In your snowboard bag, is there any remnants of quinoa? No. No? None at all. Is there a cheeky little pot of almond butter? There is. A, there is. Is there? <laughs> Bloody knew it. Casper, there's some in there, mate. I was right. <laughs> Casper doesn't even know where he is, let alone what time it is. <laughs> you look an absolute rodney. Yeah, I, what look the like, I look like a dad who never quite made it. <laughs> Black. Ignore the hair. Uh, and what's the other choice? What? Like a topi colour. Both absolutely rank. <laughs> Look at Marcus's helmet. <laughs> There's been so many Marcus helmet jokes this whole trip. You're, you're, I'm, I'm gonna Marcus, how's your up. helmet? Marcus has got one of the shiniest helmets I've ever seen, guys. I've never seen a shinier helmet. It's, got, it's a pale, pale in colour and very shiny. Air vents. And oh, it's even got a GoPro clip on your helmet. It has, mate. Not many people I know have that. Uh, this is the this is the thing. How's that? Who who, who designed this? It's a seat for you, mate. You've just got to have like for, just for soggy. You got soggy soggy stick legs. Oh, great, lovely. I'm on the plane. I'm just next to Marcus Butler. I'm probably the best. Um, person everyone that I could sit next to, you're the last person I want to sit next to. So hard. Um, funny thing as well, Marcus got his headphones. He's never had this much room on a seat in a plane. You've got plenty of room in there. I know. I'm very excited for this flight now. Anyway, Marcus has not got his headphones. Oh, so he is actually in that magazine. What magazine is that? EasyJet Traveller. Why, why are they in there? Is they amazing? Let me help. Anyway, Marcus has forgotten his headphones, and I've got two pairs. But I'm going to set you a series of challenges throughout the flight. You've got to um, bosh out your own head with that rolled up. As hard as you can. <laughs> okay, that's, you're getting closer. You're five stages away from getting the headphones. So off to Geneva, which is... Wait, I don't know where it is. Oh, get sick bags in this flight. Yeah. Oh, cheeky little yawn there, look, by Marky B. I've thought of the second challenge, Marcus. Oh, God, what is it? Where there you go. I've already got that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to backfire. What was it? You can't put them in your ears until you do the second challenge. All right. We have to order one of these each. Oh, my God. And we've got to see it off before we land. It's never going to happen. Come on, mate. We're on a stag do. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bonnet! <laughs> Look at that lid! from anyone's vlogs. I definitely uh, did well on this flight. I'm letting you borrow my headphones. Actually, that is true. Oh, that's annoyed. That's annoyed me a lot. Marcus, 
How come you decided to sit with me and not your not your dad? Because you're my inspiration, guys. <laughs> So we've arrived at our chalet in Chamonix and me and Casper are in the brown room. Woo! You know why we're in the brown room? Because we like to shit! Because you always do massive logs in the toilet, that's why. Anyway, the good thing about this room is we open out straight onto the balcony where there's a little hot tub down there. Woo! I'm very, very excited. I've just had a coffee. I don't normally drink coffee. So who knows what's going to happen. Here's the kitchen area. Oh, hey! Hello! Hi! The lounge area. And what I like the best is this. Stags, have you noticed there's stags everywhere? Is it this house meant for stag dudes? TV with a Nintendo WII down there, brilliant. Here's the, the smelly room. Look, Marcus, what is wrong with your hair? Today? Mate, I've been wearing a hat, literally. It's like static, isn't it? I love this room because it's got a, one of these like crazy steep ladders. Look. That's where Jim's going on. Is that where Jim's in this loop? I'm gonna try and climb up. Dude, I don't know. It's really dodgy. I don't know what's going on. What do you mean? No, Leon just said the same thing about my hair. Oh. That is so cool! Thing is, it'd be so difficult to climb this ladder when you're drunk. I want a natural bedroom like this in real life. Also guys, I need to clear up uh, why I made that face on the plane. Uh, the person in front of me kept farting, and it, honestly, I've never smelled farts that bad. The worst thing ever. Honestly, I, I gagged on the plane. I don't normally do that. Here we are then, boys. We are? We are off to go hire some stuff. Are we going to hire some stuff? I don't know, we're going to a ski shop. So I can get a jacket and some other little bits and bobs. Hang on, we're not all going to fit in here. Then we get on one of those scary lift things. Point I've out. got my board. I'm just doing this now so I remember what board it is, huh? Uh, so got the same board Barry. Barry. Have we got the same board? Wait, do you like Goofy or regular? Regular. Oh, okay, thank God. And I've also got a bag full of goodies there. I've got a helmet. Uh, so I can't give you any more helmet jokes. It's annoying. It's it is right there. In. Wait for it. There is <laughs> snow. snow. I promise you. Behind you. Oh, there you go. Up there. Go to the driest See, guys, there is snow here. Really Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> one of these massive like ski lifts. It's not the little bubble ones that I'm really scared of. It's the one that I Yeah, I hate them. I'm not too scared of these ones. But Marcus is not happy. What's up, Marcus? <laughs> Marcus wants to go on the really big run. Know. The big boy run. Perfectly <laughs> fine. The only reason I'm not happy is because we have to wait This is me in my new outfit, guys. I look freaking cool. Well, I think I've already lost a glove. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've already lost a glove. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to tear it up with my new surfboard. Bar Barry the. No, Barry or Boris. Come on, come on. Barry. Tanya. Do you want to Tanya? I'm going to be riding Tanya. Wobble. Mine's called Barry. Barry the board. Barry the board. Or Stephen the snowboard. I can't decide yet. But either way, I look cool. That's all that matters. You look like you've like sprained your wrist at school. I can't actually You're one of those kids at school that kept spraining their wrist all the time. <laughs> yeah. That is you. I really don't like these things. So it turns out that all this gear that I'm wearing came to quite a lot of money. So Jim, you bloody better get married still. Uh, about that. There's no backing out now because I waste a load of money about on this jacket. Oh, they're like, it's wobbling in the wind. Here we go, we're on the slope. Woo! Woo! <laughs> can't shout too loud, might get a bit of an avalanche. Right, it's time to get on one of these lifts. I just realised my favourite thing, it's really hard to vlog with these gloves on and uh, I'm a little bit worried that I'm the, I look the best out of everyone on this whole slope. This is a massive slope, Jesus Christ. There's my, oh, Marcus nearly fell over, look. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be it. Oh, I went right down my ear hole. We've just come in from the uh, first ski session. I'm sweaty, like really, really sweaty. But, Jim, hold my camera a minute. Okay, man. I got a frosty ass crack. I can't see what I'm... I pressed my button. Okay, I've got go. a frosty ass crack. You which do? Is never a good thing, no, guys. No, wait, hold it, hold it. There's actually frost in there. Let me just get a handful of your ass crack out. Oh, no. <laughs> your bum's so red. Oh, Joe, it's actually, like, refrozen. Oh, oh it's going down my trousers. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Oh, oh, oh. You can't keep it there. Oh. It's... Oh. Oh. And so anyway, it turns out that I'm not as good at skiing as I thought it was. Casper's good though, and he's been skiing and he's been snowboarding way less than I have. And already he's better than me, which just kind of sums up. Maybe snowboarding is not my thing. I say what I'm good at, tobogganing. You know these little things you sit on, it's like down the hill. What like three year olds do? I'm good at that. Out here, desperados come in cans, which is insane. I think it's a pint can as well. But Casper does not know how to pour a drink into a cup. I think it's not going to rub in. Casper. Casper, yeah. what is that? 
It's a Desperado. No, but what is the, the giant right. white thing on the top? That's fun. Where are you off to now, guys? Yeah, I'm actually a bar. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. We're shattered from the ski slopes. Yeah. We're gonna go oh, find a bar. I'm waking up at like three. Go find a bar. We're in Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and, Jekyll and Hyde. Hyde. A little. What's it called? Apris. It's a pub. We've basically oh, just pub. ordered. We're in a pub. All and we've of ordered of way too much food. We've ordered way too much food. Chicken because we're on diets. We've got six portions of fries. No, we've got five. I made it five. Oh, five and five three, portions three of chips. Portions <laughs> and three portions of chicken wings. Wait, and a three course meal in an hour. And I went for a Guinness. What happened? I went for a cheeky blonde. Cheeky blonde? Yeah, well, you can get away with it. See off. She tastes good. See off. I'll die. Can we have a chip or something? See if that works. We're all going to come with Renee. Bring it out. That's about the real one. We just had a hot wing. Can you read completely out? Three. I can't breathe.